All right, so I wound an inductor, two inductors around this toroid, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. It's approximately 30 turns per winding. We are getting this waveform, which you can see this beautiful equal opposite polarity pulse being created. We are on uh, number two here. That's what we were previously. So you see we are getting higher voltage. We've got to move that down just a little bit. So those are both on five, as you see there, five volt increments. And you can see this thing's just getting smacked with nice equal opposite polarity pulses. 29 volts, 7 amps. So about 200 watts here. Got about 600 milliamps going through that cell. So a little bit high. But you do see we have fantastic production here. In this series of videos, I document my progress on unlocking the secrets of Stanley A. Meyer. For over a decade, I've studied and replicated the devices of Stanley Meyer, specifically the water fuel cell, a device that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen for use as a combustible fuel. Here, I discuss water fuel cell theory in hopes of connecting with other like-minded individuals to unlock the secrets. This is Stan's Revenge. interesting finding today with my uh, toroid transformer here um, pretty much have it wired as standard we have our primary our second two secondaries kind of uh, bridged together to make 240 output and then our uh, opposite wound inductors on top of that uh, I'm gonna start this off here and we're gonna see the uh, voltage pop up here and I want you to pay specific attention to this waveform. Once we get up to maximum voltage here, 30 volts, hopefully my capacitor lasts here, you can see this waveform build up like this. I'm going to take out uh, number two just for the meantime. And you can see as we build up to a certain level, I want you to pay attention to in between these two pulses here. And you can see that blue start to kind of puff up there, but it really never really makes it anywhere, right? So it just kind of flattens there. That blue kind of flattens out into just like a, it's like a single pulse there, if you will. While that negative one dips down really low into that, into that negative during that pulse off time. What I'm going to do here really quick is, safety first. We're going to hook up an additional winding to the secondary to add just a little bit more voltage to it. Alright, now that we've connected this additional uh, winding, which is actually just part of the primary, it's a 12 volt winding, so we're not really upping it by that much, but I'm going to show you the difference here in this waveform and what we're really trying to achieve here. Powering on here, take a look as we pull up to power here, the waveform, and again, pay attention between these pulses here. See how we now have an equal opposite polarity pulse being generated whereas previously it was kind of just flat like that just the neighborhood of 12 additional volts on that secondary provides enough voltage to produce this very beautiful equal opposite polarity pulse which is exactly what we want as far as production you can see my uh my uh cells here are just completely puking we are uh Creating some hydrogen here. Let me uh, pop this back here to see exactly what we're creating. We're probably right at that 100 mark or so. Oh, right there. We see a lot of production. We got 137 volts across the cell, but just with that, those few additional windings, we're able to produce a much greater equal opposite polarity pulse. I'm going to switch it back. Alright, switched back to the original winding configuration. You can see that uh, that pulse here is pretty much gone. Um, increasing that voltage from here to here really doesn't do much. We need just a little bit more voltage to start creating this equal opposite polarity pulse. 
my theory is, is if I can get this transformer custom wound so that uh, the one I'm using as a secondary um, delivers more like 600 volts, 1,000 volts, instead of just the you know 240 that this is creating. Because you know I just have a standard step up or a step down transformer. This is a 20. This is 12 volt, I believe. 24 volt to 115 but there's dual winding so we can configure in a way to where it's 12 volt stepping up to 240 now from 240 to maybe an additional 240 50 maybe 260 just with these additional windings here changes that waveform entirely as we will demonstrate one more time this is with the original winding And this here is with that additional winding in place. You can see a major difference. Um, just going from uh, about 18 volts here to 29 volts, you see where that equal opposite polarity pulse is created. So there has to be enough voltage pressure to be able to overcome resistance and... Uh, things like that to be able to produce the equal opposite polarity pulse that we're looking for without enough voltage pressure we simply do not have the waveform that we are trying to acquire More to this come. is stance revenge <laughs> 